Hi, I'm Jay O'Connell from BMW Team RLL, and we're here at Daytona. I want to give you a quick view of the features of the new BMW M6. Of course, last year we were racing the Z4 with a normally aspirated V8, and now we have a twin-turbo V8 and a brand new car. So let's take a look at some of the features. Starting at the front of the car, we've got all new bodywork, a bigger splitter, we have dive planes. The main air intake in the front is for both the radiators and the brakes, and then the air intake for the engine. And the openings in the hood are the air coming out of the radiator, going over the car, and then the openings at the center of the hood are for driver cooling and some air cooling for the exhaust system. Here at the front wheelhouse, you can see the uh, Michelin tires. The wheel opening in the front is large enough for the GTD uh, configuration, which has a larger front tire, so this helps our crew get this tire on and off the car. The exhaust comes out of the car, out of the fender here at the front, the front of the rocker, so it doesn't travel through to the back of the car. We've got new bodywork, obviously. We've got the fuel uh, receptacle in the fender in front of the rear tire. Then we have the uh, opening for the transmission cooler and the AC system taking air to the back of the car. And then a small opening in front of the rear tire for rear brake cooling. And we work our way to the back of the car. We've got you know, new wings, new gurneys, new bodywork. And as you look under the car, the rear diffuser, you'll see on all the GTLM cars, vertical strikes that now allow the diffuser to be more efficient, making more downforce. So part of the rules changes for 2016 allow us to generate more downforce out of the underwing and increase the overall performance of the cars. Okay, for a closer look at the new M6, we've taken the hood off. And as you can see, the twin turbo V8 engine, based on the 4.4 liter street engine, very similar engine, is mounted low and, and in the car and, and back as far as we can get it. The turbos are nestled in the valley right up top, so you can see their architecture there. The exhaust manifold just below, and then the intake for the uh, engine is down below. So it's kind of a reverse flow engine, just like the street engine. And the packaging uh, lends itself to the race car, so you can get the exhaust out to the side and out through the fenders. Up front here, you can see the the air-to-air -air intercoolers. While the street engine has water-to-air, the rules dictate air-to-air, -air, so there are larger intercoolers and they're up in the airstream to try and cool the intake charge before it gets into the engine. So it's a really uh, interesting packaging to get everything uh, nestled together as much as possible and get the most uh, uh, performance out of this package. So I hope we've given you some more insight on the car by taking a closer look around the vehicle and under the, uh, under the hood. And, uh, we look forward to a good season.